Welcome back. We were heading for Starbase. Unfortunately, I saved and then arrived there, so I'm going to have to re reload from that save point and then arrive there again. Hail the Starbase. Hailing the Starbase. Cleared for docking. Take us in, number one. This is the main reason I wanted to go here. To show this cutscene. This model of the Starbase, of this design of the Starbase, was introduced in Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock, and stayed with us through all the series. It's really one, a great design, I think. Well, now we're in the Starbase. And what that does is it will um, replenish our power and also our complement of photon torpedoes. will be replenished. So just make sure that if we have need to do any more fighting that we'll uh, be able to do so. Well, now let's head for Eleanor. I think we should be able to go warp engines again. Warp engines unable to sustain current ah, speed. Okay. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Engage. Apparently not. Okay, that's really all there is to do there. Well, let's head for Eleanor. Captain, I've been studying our records of one of the Chodak devices we found on Horse 3. It appears to have been designed to measure the period of a pulsar for use as a standard of time. Translating Chodak time units would be a major breakthrough. It will give us a better understanding of Chodak science. Unfortunately, the Zatarnus Nebula has expanded since the Chodak abandoned the station. The Nebula now completely obscures the Pulsar. The Nebula grew that quickly? The Zatarnus Nebula is one of the youngest celestial bodies in the galaxy. Are there observations of a Pulsar in that region of space? None in Federation records, but the Chodak star chart does contain a Pulsar at the proper coordinates. Can we observe the Pulsar ourselves? The pulsar is on the far side of the nebula. It cannot be observed from anywhere within Federation space. Does it have a name? We should be sure a science vessel is sent to observe it. The Chodak chart refers to it as the Gambara Pulsar. It lies in unexplored space near the Romulan border. Another pointless aside. Just adds a bit of texture. Warning. Entering the neutral zone. Okay. We arrive at Eleanor. Captain Lord, we have arrived at the planet Eleanor, where we hope to find information about the Unity device, a legendary super weapon created by the ancient Chodak. Although we've managed to travel deep into the neutral zone without being challenged, I feel certain that an encounter with the Romulans is only a matter of time. Standard orbit. Okay. Let's just save here. Eleanor. <laughs> we have completed our scan of the planet. The surface is heavily damaged and radiation levels are high, possibly the result of war in the distant past. Are there any life signs? No, sir. But we have detected an extensive network of caverns below the surface. We are picking up Cochrane field emissions from one of the chambers. Is it a natural phenomenon? I do not believe so. The field is exhibiting a binary modulation pattern, which may imply some form of computer in operation. Sounds like a good place to begin a search. Sir, many of the caverns are heavily shielded. Our comm systems and transporters will be unable to penetrate them. The nearest beam in point is more than three kilometers from the Cochrane field source. Then that will have to be close enough. Looks like we're in for a long hike. I lead the away team myself. Captain, we have no idea what's down there. We can't risk it. Number one, we have no choice. 
The Unity device, if it exists, could be a weapon of incredibly destructive power. We must learn what it is and what it can do. My knowledge of the Chodak could be vital to the success of our mission. Do you know more about the Chodak than anyone else on the ship? Really? Even though I don't think you knew anything about them before this game started, but anyway. All right, sir. I'll assemble and await you. Make it so. Okay, well, let's head to service. So, Picard is going, and Data, and... Beam down coordinates selected. Jordy, and a random crew member. There's actually two of these random crew members. Can you locate members. the source of the Cochrane field the ship's sensors detected? There's actually two of these random uh, crew members. You can pick them yourself if you use the higher difficulty levels. But um, if you use the automatic mode, they will use one here and they will use one later. Doesn't really matter much. The Cochrane field source lies in this direction. Uh, this direction? What direction? Uh. If the source of the Cochrane field emissions is truly an operational computer, there's no telling what we might learn. I just hope there's enough information to allow us to find the Unity device. I want to save here again. Because I remember this being quite a dangerous place. Well, at least there's some technology still in operation. There's signs of energy. Fascinating. Not helpful. I do not know the purpose of these devices. These readings are inconclusive. Something may be interfering with the tricorder scan. So apparently we need to go this way. But it's not going to be possible. Radiation levels exceed exposure limits. We should not open the doors. Both doors are the same. We should not open the doors. Passage behind door blocked with solid matter, so it looks like we won't be going that way. The schedule. The device on the derelict drone looks interesting. I wasn't asking for your device. Uh, your advice. Show the schedule. Um, well, that doesn't mean much to us. Oh, Wrinkle, that's the the ship that the rebels used to infiltrate Eleanor. Or no, the uh, infiltrate uh, Unity device, I mean. I have recorded the information. Okay, well, if that turns out to be useful at some point. Another door over there. The tricorder scan did not provide any additional information. How nice. There's a drone with a foreign object on it. Propulsion system inoperative. Foreign object looks interesting. The device freezes logic circuits by emitting broadband electromagnetic interference. Okay, so it's basically like... The device on the derelict... Yeah, that's what it just looked at. It's basically like a low-level electronic... Uh, electromagnetic pulse interferes with electronics. Well, let's remove this thing. Welcome to Eleanor. Do you have anything to declare? Please note that the Emergency War Act is in effect. Um. I wonder if this drone knows that more than 900,000 years have passed since its creators became extinct. Probably not. No, yeah, nothing new. The importation of weapons is proscribed under Section 12F of the Emergency War Act. Surrender your phasers immediately. This will be your only warning. Well, we sort of need our phasers. It would be unwise to give up our phasers. And this drone isn't going to be very friendly if we uh, 
allow him to be operative so let's turn uh, him off again for the time being there's some ashes here the skeletal structure corresponds to that of a Romulan probably he didn't listen to the drone or something like that readings confirm that these are the remains of a Romulan I suspect the drone was the cause of his demise see not a good idea to cross this drone he will kill us. So let's leave him disabled. We'll continue exploring Eleanor in the next video.